Hi, today we're going to see how to create abstract geometric shapes in GIMP. So first I'm going to create a new image, go to File, New, the image width is 1920 and the height is 1080, press OK. And now press the minus key on your keyboard to zoom out. And now I'm going to create a new transparent layer, so click on this icon here, fill it with transparency and then press OK. And now select the rectangle selection tool, and now I'm going to make square here so keep the control key and shift key down here so now i'm going to move it here in the middle and then i'm going to increase it so here like this so here press enter and now i'm going to stroke this selection make sure the foreground color is white so i'm going to add the white stroke so go to edit stroke selection and then check the stroke line solid color Check the anti-aliasing and the line width will be 10 pixels. And in the line style, make sure the line is line here and then stroke. So here it is, go to select, none to remove the selection. And now I'm going to crop this layer to its content to the square here. So go to layer, crop to content. So here it is. And now I'm going to select, so select the alignment tool. Left click here on the square here. And then let's align it all horizontally and then vertically. Make sure the line is related to the image. So here like this. So select another tool here to remove the squares here of the alignment tool. And now go to filters. And then recursive transform. So now click on the gap window. I'm going to press the plus key on my keyboard to zoom in to be more precise. So now, as you can see, the icon here, the cursor here, when hovering over each of these handles here, as you can see, it changes. So for this one, for example, it's the shear tool. So it will shear the layer here. So click on reset. So if, for example, you click outside here, as you can see, you will be able to rotate the selection like this. So click on reset. For this one, it's the perspective here, this little diamond here, this one here. So click on reset. And these squares here are the scale tool. So you can also move here. So if you click inside here, the square here, the layer, you can move it. So it will change to the move tool. So now let's click on reset here. And now I'm going to, so if you want to, scale up the layer here proportionally from the center keep the control key and shift key down here so now if i increase here as you can see the number of iterations here will go outside here it will add copies here so if i increase for example to five to six so as you can see it added copies here so this is because i scaled the layer outside of the layer boundaries here so if i select here if i select the scale tool here keep the control key and shift key down here while scaling so reset here made a mistake so now so now if i keep the control key and shift key down here and then start scaling it will scale it proportionally like this from the center so now i'm going to increase the number of iterations so it's the number of copies so here like this and for the fade opacity here, it will add some fading here on the copies. So I'm going to increase it back. And for the first iteration, it will remove the first copy. So for example, increase here one. So as you can see, it removed the first copy. So the second, so here it is. So now click on reset. And now I'm going to increase the number of copies to 15. And then keep the shift key and control key down here while scaling. So I'm going to scale it here from this square here. So I'm going to add copies. So here, and now I'm just going to rotate. So if you move the cursor outside the layer here, you will be able to rotate. So as you can see, the cursor changed to the rotation icon, rotation tool icon. So here. So as you can see, it didn't go over the layer here. So I'm going to leave it here. Press OK. 
So here it is, press the minus key in your keyboard to zoom out. And now I'm going to create another one. So I'm going to hide this one, create a new transparent layer, click on this icon here, fill it with transparency and then press OK. And now go to filters, render, gfig. So now I'm going to create a hexagon. So click on this icon here, this one here. And now I'm going to increase the number of sides to six. I'm going to uncheck the stroke and then check the fill here, color fill. And then I will make the color fill to be white here. So white color, press OK. And now I'm going to make my hexagon. So here like this. So here it is. And now close. So here's our hexagon. So right click. I just need the stroke here. So right click alpha to selection and now I'm going to decrease this selection so go to select shrink I'm going to decrease it by 10 pixels press ok press enter sorry and then press the delete key on your keyboard so here it is and now let's remove the selection go to select none and now go to layer crop to content and now I'm going to align this layer so select the alignment tool left click on the layer and then let's align it horizontally and vertically like this make sure the align is related to the image and now if you want to remove these squares here of the alignment tool just select another tool and now go to filters and then map and then again recursive transform and now i'm going to click on the gimp window press the plus key to zoom in and then here i'm just going to increase the number of iterations to here 15 maybe I think it's too much 13 so 12 and now keep the control key here and the shift key down here and then scale down this layer from this handle here any square handle so here I think I'm going to leave it here and now I'm going to increase the number of iterations so let's increase it to 15 so here I think it's okay here and now I'm just going to rotate the layer so just go outside the layer and then rotate so here it is and then press ok so here's our shape so press the minus key on your keyboard to zoom out so i'm going to delete this layer since it's empty so here it is and now here's our first shape so select the move tool and i'm going to drag it to the right uh, to the left sorry and then here's our second shape you can select any other shape here you can make a triangle so here if you want for example to change the color of these shapes here so let's select this one for example the square one right click alpha to selection and now i'm going to hide it so create a new transparent layer click on this icon here press ok and now i'm going to add a gradient so select the gradient tool and now I'm just going to select, so for example, let me select this gradient. So the shape is linear and then just drag it here like this. So here press enter and now go to select none to remove the selection. So here it is. So I think that's it. That's how you can create abstract geometric shapes in GIMP. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day and uh, till next time.